Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Happy Monday. How you doing? Today is going to be a little bit of a weird week. I'm probably going to be doing some re-uploads because I'm taking my daughter for her grad trip. Very excited about it. We're going to have some good times, but uh, I'm going to try to get ahead on videos. But if not, you might see some re-uploads. I wanted to re-upload my personal story for a little while anyway, just because it's been a long time since over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen it. So that's probably what I'm going to see. So you see that, that's why. But I'm also going to try to get a couple videos ahead so you guys can have some original stuff because that's what I like to do because you're amazing. So today we're talking about Della Vlogs and they're, they did some dangerous stuff. They're a bunch of idiots and uh, just, I don't like them. So let's start off. So, where's Della Vlogs? I had it open here. She blocks me, and so I have to open, like, I hate that Instagram does this. You have to have an account. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm actually glad that you have to have an account to look through, but I hate that I don't, because they block me, so I have to open it in, like, this account. But the amount of, like, just baby posts and baby posts with advertising is actually bananas on her page. Like, just bonkers how much she uses this child for advertising. This is what Instagram does. But it's just all, it's all, it's all freaking this baby, everything. And these are the people that said that they're protective of their children. Now there's a post on Reddit. It says, did you know Bella and Dallin are overprotective parents? These two complete hypocrites posted an undisclosed ad on Bella's IG. So it's undisclosed meaning they didn't say it's an ad. Uh, hawking some solar power generator. They set it up by telling everyone how overprotective and paranoid they are as parents. Interesting take when literally every video they share the kids show the exact opposite from strapping on a gigantic ill-fitting helmet to S's head while on a bike. Um, to handing off their kid to randos every day while on vacation, to t taking her on boats without life preserver. These are outrageous parents' safety fails. They are not borderline in any way. Can they be this stupid to think their followers can't see the complete liars they are? Yeah, these, the, the thing about these followers is, yeah, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care where you put the kid in. And then those who do finally come around and they're like, why are you putting this kid in danger? They just get blocked. Right? We're going to see this video soon. Who does this? Bella surfing holding Story with only a death grip on one of Story's thighs as usual. And Story shows no reaction to this at all. Not excitement, not fear. Um, this is the video we're covering today. This is just so neglectful. Why take such an unnecessary risk with your one-year-old? And for what? Clicks and views on social media to say that you're doing well? One bump, one big wave, one distraction, one misstep, and that child becomes a projectile. Yes, she has a life jacket on, finally, but being this reckless when you just put out a video saying you're overprotective parents doesn't work. We see you because you show us and we believe you. The intellectual giants have no parental instincts and have no desire to keep their baby safe. That's one thing that, you know, like you see this kid on like holding her while they're, they're, they're surf, surfing or whatever. It's true. If that kid, that boat's going pretty quick. If she drops that kid or whatever, what if the kid hits their head on the, on the surfboard on the way down? Right? And you're, you, you're only, I mean, you can stop the boat relatively quickly and be pretty close, but what if? Just don't do stupid shit like this, okay? So this is the video um, where they're, again, just flexing their wealth. And the thing that bothers me the most about uh, Della Vlogs, Bella and D Dallin, it's that they're so independently wealthy that they don't need to be doing this. They don't need to put their daughter at risk. They don't need to be on the internet for likes and clicks exploiting a child. They don't need to do it. They don't need to do it for money. You could, you could argue that other people who do it, they need the money, they've built this lifestyle to some degree. You could argue that. It's a stupid argument, but you could argue it, right? These people don't need it. They just do it for the fame. Now, I'm pretty sure Dallin doesn't like it as much as Bella does, but that's just the way this goes. He just, she runs the show. She wears the pants, she, she carries all the money. And I'm not sure if the if, what the rule is, is if the money that she brought into the wedding, she gets to keep, and then anything they make during the wedding, they, get to, they have to split. Is that how it goes? Because this marriage isn't gonna last. I could promise you that. Because if you look on this again, on their page, I thought this was quite interesting, is this this post. The, it's called, the, the post is called uh, The Thousand Yard Stare. And it's basically uh, Dallin, she goes, he hands her what she wants, because basically he's her, does whatever she wants, goes in for a kiss, he's not into this, this is a husband who's not into his wife, okay, he's into the cash, guy started go-karting, like he wants to be a racer, right, it's, it's one of his rich friends races, so he's starting at the, the little carts, which are pretty quick and dangerous by the way, but he's starting there, that, that, you know how expensive that hobby is, 
We're talking tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for a little hobby because they're so bored in life. They don't have real jobs. He's like, oh, I'm going to take up racing go-karts. And now and they have boats and they travel the world. That's all they do. This guy is with this woman for money. That's it. It's like he's giving her a look saying, are you happy now? I fulfilled your command. I'm not sta I cannot stand watching or listening to her. When I do put them on mute, she's so mature. She's so clueless and has no maternal instincts. None. I could just read these, the snark thread all day. These people know what's up. All right, let's watch this stupid video. <laughs> Shut up. Again, the kid probably walked before this, or you've had your phone on the entire time. Both ways are pretty bad, right? She's saying I got first steps on camera, which she didn't, okay? Or she did, and the fact is that this kid is on camera every waking moment of the day, and that's also really sad and disgusting. I don't like these people. <laughs> Oh, you got a noisemaker in there? Sounds like an airplane in a room. There's no colors. I love beige rooms. Stop doing this, everybody. Stop making everything beige. Can we please, please stop doing that? Please. It looks ridiculous. Looks like the inside of an old pair of tidy whities Stop it. Oh, Bing, she's getting you a kiss. Story just woke up from her nap, and I haven't really seen her walk yet. I've seen her take like one or two steps. So then you've seen her walk. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, you for me. Oh, you. oh, This might be like a, a week long vlog of Story's walking. Good, yay. About two days since Story took her first step. A lie for a lie? What is that supposed to mean? A lie for a lie. She, 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 what's going on? And I absolutely panicked when she took her first test. I have to tell this the little backstory about Okay, about a little backstory. That because Dallin had just gone to the gym and all of a sudden she just stood up and she started like wobbling and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna video. Oh my gosh, she gotta get my phone out. It's the only thing. I can't even enjoy this moment with my daughter. I can't even do this. I have to get my phone out. I have to. Just in case. And then she took her first steps and I absolutely lost it. You're lying. She took her first steps before. Relax, Bella. Your eyes are too close together. These people, <laughs> when Dan was going to the gym, they really have like, like they, uh, it's crazy. They don't even have real lives. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. She basically, like, we'll just look out of the corner of her eye and she'll just be walking. Whoa, go, go. <laughs> You're wrecking your body. <laughs> She's off. So Stop fake laughing like ga, 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 ga. we are happy in this home. Nobody, nobody's happy in this home. And that dog is true, not happy either. Don't, don't run over Banks' tail. I know. I remember when she was, she couldn't even even touch the ground for that. That's crazy. Yes, children grow. It's crazy. It's so crazy. You're so big. Room. Are you ready? Here, do One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Come on. Go, go, go. Yeah. I guess she's trying to race away from you. <laughs> keep going. Can we keep going? Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Daddy, daddy. I'm seeing your doggy. Go walk. All right, enough of this oh. garbage. <laughs> now do one where you, she chooses which parent to walk to. <laughs> yeah, you know, they'll never do that again. They'll never do that again. <laughs> Story's first leg trap. Every moment captured on camera for the world to see. Story first leg trip. That doesn't, story's first leg trip maybe. Look at these people, this is their life. Help me. You imagine they have to like work for real, in real life. If anything ever hit the fan for whatever reason, okay? These are the types of people that are dead first. Okay, they're dead first. They don't even know anything. They don't go here. They don't know how to work. They don't know anything. Going to the lake. Story's first lake trip of the year. First lake trip as a family. Are you excited? I'm so excited. She's Shut up. And they're playing with Abby right now. She's just having the time of her life. I think she's kind of love. Is she having the time of her life in your truck? It's in your truck. This is like a $100,000 boat, by the way. 
or more probably. Look how epic this is. We brought Story or Swing. She's never been in this actually. But you hang it right here. Hang it, hang it, you hang it. I kind of yeah, so they have a video like that's on the Reddit too. Um, that pissed a lot of people off actually. If I can find it here quick, but the baby was basically like this one actually tripped me up too. I was like, what the heck is wrong with you? Is it in Dallin? I think they take it down. They might have taken it down. Okay, so basically they had this kid in this swing just swinging on the boat, and people were like, you're living your best life, but like the kid wasn't in a life preserver, nothing. Where is that video? Did they get rid of it? Really? Darn it. Maybe it's in this video, but basically he puts her in a swing. And I know the baby's on the boat, and I know parents are around, but it doesn't look like they are. They're all there's ways they can film her like looking at the water. No life preserver. It's insanity. These people are insane, and they say they want to protect their child. We were going to the lake. We all started going to the lake when we started dating. For the last seven years of us being married, it's been like one of our favorite things to do. So now being able to do this with Story is just epic. It's gonna be so cool. So Shut up, loser. You're gonna grow up being a lake girl every summer. It's gonna be like the thing. Well, you're gonna go to the lake once a summer? You're a lake girl, I guess. So, I'm super excited. First family lake trip as a family of three. This is, Abel and I have talked for years about bringing our kids to the lake, and here we are. Yeah, I got you. Bella needs me. You better run to Bella. Or he gets the wooden spoon or whatever. A little bit of ice on the bottom. Boat has a built-in cooler. <laughs> Gotta get the Gatorades. All of a sudden, like Alicia pops up from the vents. I have some extra if you want. And then more. Some berries. Oh, Stories, little hydro jug. How cute is this thing? Man, this is what life's all about. Is it? Life's all about not working, exploiting children, and just spending money like it's water because we're bored. And just wait till you see Story in her little swimsuit. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Hands down the cutest. That's, that's a really weird thing to say to the internet. Just complete strangers on the internet. They have like, what, 2 million subscribers? Probably more on, Insta on, on uh, TikTok. It, it, did you just say that? You're, 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 these overprotective parents just said, wait till you see this little baby in her swimsuit. Stop it, man. Stop it. All right, we're putting story swing under here. Swing, swing. This guy had to move this camera into this bin to open it, then close the bin, then opened it again. Hey, and then had to open it again to get the camera out. Okay, now we know where you live in the street, you live on everything. Brown Road, you know everything about you because you're stupid idiots who are trying to protect your kids. Ew, who wants to live where there's no grass? Sorry, that's brown. No wonder they have a beige room. They, they live here because it's a brown state. Is this, are they in Arizona? Like, ew, there's no grass. Are you guys okay? First time on the boat, you ready, hyper? You want to get in? Oh, she wants to get in. No, she wants to punch you in the face, is what she wants get to get in. We're going to get her life jacket on right now. Oh, are you? Okay, now you are. I'm so pumped being out here. This is by far one of my most favorite places on this entire earth. I've this nasty lake is the most favorite place on earth. I had the best memories. I had the coolest summers, the coolest experiences out here on this lake. So it's so epic to be here. Do you her snack? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so cute. <laughs> this daughter absolutely fawns over her father. And I know a lot of people are like, well, Josh, you're so mean to the women. Well, the women are generally the, the majority makeup of these channels. And he's a dickhead too for explaining her. But this, there is no denying that this child loves this dude. And absolutely just, th we're, the mom, we're just friends. We're just friends like they're acquaintances. <laughs> okay? Just acquaintances. There's something off about Bella's energy and it really bothers Bella for sure. Absolutely. The kids can't lie. Their, their feelings won't lie. Their instincts, their guts, they don't lie. So there's something about Bella that this kid finds really off-putting or something weird, some energy. She feels it. This guy actually, even though he said on the internet that adoption is giving up and we're not going to do that because it's given up and it's like last, he's, he's always going to have to ever forever tell this, tell his daughter why he said that on the internet. But at the same time, you can tell he loves her. 
Okay, and I'm not saying that De- De- uh, Bella doesn't either, but th- there's definitely no bond, not like a real maternal bond. It doesn't exist because that's not what she really wanted. They got they did this because this is what, like this is what they could do to to exploit children on the internet, and they would have done it, and she would have been more happy if she could get naturally pregnant and had it. Like it would have been better, but there is no denying that the energy and the vibes are super off between this child and Bella. <laughs> <laughs> no one's paying attention to the kid in the back. What if she falls off? Has gone away. I could be really cold, so. Stop doing this. Sorry. Barfed in my mouth a little. Oh, she's so vapid. It's just, she's so vapid. Make sure you capture me being a mother with my bathing suit. Am I good? <laughs> she knows she forces him to film these things, right? He's not just doing that. That's like her, make sure you do this with the content. I think Bella thinks she's a 10 when she's like a New Jersey 3. Okay, so I don't know where she gets off thinking things. It's the it's the boat that story bought. Sorry. <laughs> this kid does not look like she's having a good time, man. I'm sorry. Oh, this is the back. This water looks like someone a dinosaur pissed in it. Oh my god. It's probably cold. Actually, if it's Arizona, it's probably not cold. That water's probably piss warm. Can you stop filming her? There we go. That's a good screen cap. Am I jealous I can't do that? Yes. Have I tried a couple times? Yes, but I failed. I'm sure if I tried a bunch of times, I can get it. Not that, though. Rich white people activities. I'm waiting for her to just eat it. Okay, is this really it? Good to be back out here. I want to start with story so bad. See, she want like, and you shouldn't. You, and Dallin should be like, no, we're not doing that here. But they want to do it for the video, right? It's just not time. Wait till the kid's a little older. Don't do it. You're such a loser. Again, she eats it. This kid's going to have a traumatic event and they're going to be scared of water for the rest of her life. You got to be really careful with the things you do to the child, especially if they're getting more cognizant of the world they're walking. If she trips and falls and she and she eats shit and like falls on the baby, hits the baby's head, the baby hits the board, whatever happens. Okay, anything could happen. I'm glad it didn't. But anything could happen. You're going to cause you could, you could cause serious injury. I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. Like, call me a little bit helicopter parentish, I guess, whatever you want to call. I would never do that. And I take a little bit more, I let my kids take a little bit more risk where my wife does not. Okay. I let my kids climb trees. I'll let them do a little bit of craziness, you know, here and there. But I would never in a million years do this. This is like, this. these par- these people have no idea how to parent these child. And when they say they're protective of their kids, they're not. They're lying to you. <laughs> All for a video. That kid does not. It's like, I like this fun. Kid has like is not enjoying herself. First of all, there's no joy there. They're just doing it for themselves. Surfing with mama. Is that? Yeah, she doesn't like this mother. Your first ever time surfing. Mother. Surfing mama. <laughs> that was so fun. I love driving the boat. Wow, dude, look at this lake out here, man. Watching the sunset go down out here on the lake. Oh, yeah, baby. We got a surfer. You're on this boat all day? Like, I get boating, but all day? Okay. Okay. 
gas looks expensive. I just got out here on the board. This is the best time. It's sunset right now. Can never be a good lake. Especially out here at sunset on a Thursday. Shut up. Oh my god, the montages. Not everyone is my best friend, Sarah. <laughs> that describes her perfectly. We're on our way right now to the river. This is something that is on our bucket list, so we're gonna cross it off. Your bucket list is going to a river? <laughs> okay. Today, and we decided it would be better if we did it with some. These people have traveled the world and they haven't been to a river? Good company, so we have our friends, Sarah and Chad, coming, and they're three kids. Shouldn't be doing that. You need a license to fly over highways and stuff like that. And like SFOs. What are they called? SFOCs, things like that. They're just legally flying drones and capturing on camera. It just has some angry people behind us, but there's one spot and we, we need the spot. Oh, they're leaving right now. They're getting in. They're getting in. They're leaving. We're good. We're good. See? Look at that. Patience is a we're, virtue. We're That's a. Urban's leaving and the truck. Let's go. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. You're not. We want good vibes only. Why are you here? Get lost. You're the bad vibes in this family. Oh, I'm here, baby. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah. Are you guys also leaving or are you staying for a minute? You're leaving. Yeah, they're leaving. Did she wave her finger? Yeah, they're not. She I don't. So cool. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> it's because you guys are being a bunch of wankers. So you deserve the middle finger, probably. They did. They what? They fingered us. Did she say they fingered us? Stop saying that. They fucked us off, Chad? Are you gonna, you gonna go fight them? You gonna go fight them? Uh, we're in business, baby. All right, I'm excited to cross paddle boarding the store. Those people, reach out. Hey, off the bucket list. Story, yeah, how are you feeling? That's the It's my Suburban, the same car I have. Right Those wheels are crazy, though, on that thing. So let's blow up our paddle boards and get going. Your job, Bella. Assemble the horse. I can do that. Easy. Dallin said I have the most important. That guy hates the other guy hates her. My job. I'm putting on all the paddles. Good job, baby. That's your one job. He hates you, Bella. I know you know it too. I, mean, I know you know it. Uh oh, I can't even do my one job. I did it. Good job, Bella. Of course they bought matching bathing suits. I was just gonna say, where did she get this? Toys R Us? And that's probably where she got it. Let me tell you, it smells like the river out here. And if you've never been to the river, use your imagination. Like what, shit? These people have really expensive hobbies. I guess if you're rich and you have no job, I mean, you gotta like figure out what to do with your time. I don't even like, I have, this house has become like a passion project of mine and I've been doing so, I haven't even dented it. I had, there was freaking water damage in, you know the basement I just finished, Mark and I? Okay, I had like, it cost me thousands of dollars to get that taped and mudded. For some reason, the outside tap, they have these old taps these old, whatever you call them, taps, that when the water comes back, it goes, T -t -t -t. it's like a pushback valve thing. And for whatever reason, there was a hole in the pipe. It was leaking through the wall. I had to pull up all the hardwood, well, it's not laminate, laminate, throw it out, and I have to order five more boxes of laminate. I had to pull off massive por portions of the drywall. So the basement was done. It was ready to go. And now it's not done anymore. And then I started painting the, the freeze drying section of the area, room. Right, and I was gonna. I bought epoxy paint to put on the floor. And I'm like, I realized that the epoxy paint, which is super expensive, by the way, you can't just open it when you want to use it. You have to mix it, and then it lasts like 20 minutes. You got to get that down 20. That's it. So all these projects I have to do. The gazebo's finally sort of done. Not really. I mean, you know what I'm saying lots to do. These people don't do anything except for spend money and travel. It's craziness. And then they'll do videos like, oh, we're so busy, our life is hard. Shut up. Oh my gosh, the music montages. Story.
Got enough Start music about. montages? Eat snacks. Good people. Sleep. And they're happy, right, Sarah? You're hitting the head with that paddle, though. Okay. This is what you want to eat right here. This is what you want to eat. Ooh. Oh, Bella, make sure you capture this on the camera, everybody. I'm about to get, uh, the story's getting more attention than me. I got to do a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Says Dallin's brand new camera. Well, let me just, let me clarify something for you, Dallin. You didn't buy it. It's your wife's money. Yeah, Bella. <laughs> my camera, my camera. Grab it, grab it. Uh, you idiot. <laughs> That's why he hates her. No. You had to do a stupid handstand, so I lost my 360 camera. Don't move, don't move. Right here, right here. But I'm going back with you. It's gone. Yeah, get the mask. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> you deserve it. I'm going in, I'm going in. Go, go, go. Take it, Bella's camera's on the water. Then he calls it Bella's camera. <laughs> Dude, the water's like poop. You're not finding it. It's moving so fast. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> ah, rich people problems. You gotta find the thing. God, I don't have the footage for doing a handstand. Oh, it'll be a miracle. Found it. Bella dropped the camera. I dropped the most important camera. It was the cutest video ever, and now it's all. What, of you doing a handstand? Are you kidding me? Gone. Imagine we get a call and, like, Six months. Hey, I would we be found. so happy. What? Splash, splash. No one's gonna give your camera back. In the water. Splash, splash. I'd be pissed too. That's like a. I don't know how much those are. Probably more than three hundred dollars. Probably five, six, seven hundred dollars. And she just broke it because she's like, "Look at me! I'm doing a handstand." Very comfortable in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. We gotta be careful. It's Dino. What's up, girl? <laughs> 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 He's so mad the camera's gone. Oh, you wanna go on their board? <laughs> Story Daddy's tired from paddling you. Dean's saying hi over there. Can you say hi to Dean? Uh, hi, Dean. <laughs> 2024 Olympics. She won't even wave to her mother, but she'll wave to friends and family. Down in Story. Take gold. Come on, Story. We're in the seaweed too. Just be careful. Hand right here. Nice. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. We're really cruising now. Oh, two hands? This is teamwork. Guys, I'm on here with Story. And earlier, really? Are you on there with Story? We couldn't tell. Couldn't tell the baby's strapped to your ass. I had the biggest party foul of all, and I yeah, smacked you, the camera right off with my legs. I think Tanner got some video of it on the camera. Yeah, because you're a loser. But it was quite a bummer. But now I get to just peacefully cruise with my girl. Ah, yay! No, you're still on camera. One day you get to watch these back, watch these memories back with Mama. Oh, there we go. So justifying exploiting this chat. See, we're filming memories <laughs> for millions of strangers. Yeah. Can't wait for you to see my daughter in her bathing suit. Not again. I feel scared having this GoPro on the front. Because I'm scared I'm going to accidentally knock it off. Because you really probably will, because you're a clumsy ass douche. But I cannot let that happen. You look so beautiful, Tori. Oh. Didn't say anything about his wife. This guy's enamored with a shot, and that's great, and you can tell. But again, you guys, everybody sees it, and I, Bella knows everybody sees it. Bella sees that everybody does, and Bella understands it, that there's just no bond. She That must, for someone who has everything, literally the wealth beyond wealth and riches beyond riches and privilege beyond privilege, the only one thing that she really wanted in life was this child to adore her, and this child hates her. I love where we live. It's the best. Yeah, but you have no grass, so... That's kind of lame. Arizona is my favorite place. It's really not. I've never even been there, and it's really not. It is just such a vibe. You Stop just... saying vibe and why you're wearing that bathing suit. You look like, looks like SpongeBob's underwear. Love and life story. <laughs> look, it's a party story. Party ride. I don't know. Do I trust her with my phone? Yeah, don't trust. Do not. I'm really worried because I'm pretty much giving Bella. A if you weren't such a douchebag, idiot, moron face. All you have to do is buy these little things that stick to the camera casing that are like they float, dumbass. In chance, I put the go I put her on the the paddleboard over there that has a camera, and I'm nervous right now. Should be. That's him saying that she's an idiot. Keep looking back. I'm scared her oar is gonna hit the. 
camera. Or, you know, don't be an idiot. Maybe just tie a string around it so that if it does fall off, then it just doesn't. You know, there's a million ways you can fix this. Oh, oh, what do you say? Do you want to go flood again? Before? Yes, eat shit. <laughs> She's asking if the stuff is on my board. It is. Bella! She doesn't even care. She doesn't even care. Yeah, she doesn't care. You guys just spend thousands of dollars and don't even bother her. That bag could be long. You guys, this look like you've been there all day. Who's, like, what about sunburns? Uh, she doesn't even care. Bella! What? The bag was on yours. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You're lying. No, I'm not. She can't see because her eyes are too close to her. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely beautiful out here. I just think it's out here with good friends, beautiful scenery, water's nice, weather's perfect. Exploitation on full display. As soon as the sun goes down, it's like beautiful out here. These are like the- What about mosquitoes? Are there mosquitoes in Arizona? Type of things I want to do a story just to have like the coolest memories. Okay, then don't have to film it for strangers though. Stop being an idiot, dude. You don't have to. You don't have to do this for strangers. It's so cute because- Film it for her then, give it to her later. Story is just obsessed with my friend Sarah's kids. She's like literally trying to get to them. Well then let her go play with the kids. She hates you. Say hi, Dean. Look at her. She wants kids. Yeah, because oh she doesn't God. want you. That's the, that's not. It's not that she wants kids. She just wants any other human within radius that's not you. Give uh, kisses to Dean. Give kisses to Dean. Don't force your children to kiss other children. That's, don't do that. I don't film it. <laughs> There's only one way to end the night, and we're at In N Out. We decided we're gonna get some drive through In N Out, and then we're gonna sit on the back of the truck and eat the drive through deliciousness, and then go home. And then wake up at noon. <laughs> Didn't even, she doesn't even have a bun on it. The loser. Thank you for exploiting my child with us. Anyway. I'm glad they're doing activities with this child. This child actually is living a decent life. But they're not keeping this child safe. And they're showing everybody. They influence people. And they shouldn't be. They don't need to be exploiting this child. And when they keep saying about, oh, we're making memories. I love these memories. There's really nothing wrong with that. That's amazing. You should be doing a lot of that with your children. That's something you should take away from this. But you do not have to show strangers. You don't have to exploit children. And especially this child where you're using her for advertisements. You should be ashamed of yourself. And everybody sees right through it. Also, Bella, nobody likes you. Sorry. Probably on purpose. The vibes are off. You know why? It's because you sell MLM. That's what it is. I think that the kid knows. The kid's going to tell the friends, oh, my mom does like MLM. I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, you guys are idiots. And nobody likes you. You don't even go here. Douchebags. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> What's your most expensive hobby? Let me know below. Mine is freeze drying. Actually, the freeze dryer itself is the expensive part. The rest isn't that expensive. You just buy food. So it's not that big of a deal. Well, there's actually, yeah, there's bag sealers. There's tray. I have like three sets of trays. <laughs> the trays are like a hundred bucks to 125 bucks for a set of trays. So yeah, the my most expensive hobby right now at this moment, freeze drying. Being in a band can be quite expensive, too, because it depends on how well, how much of a gearhead you are. I'm not really. I've got the one same guitar I've had for years. Um, that one's just a show guitar. I don't even play it. Like I bought that from. I think I'm pretty sure I bought that from AliExpress. It's a fake Fender. I don't even. I never even used it. Just decoration. Anyway, I think so. What is your most expensive hobby below? I want to know. I want to know what I'm missing out on. What I should be doing? Because gardening is expensive too. If you think about it, it's. I'm sorry, it's not that expensive. It's time consuming though. To get it kicked off, to build like my now wife who wants like elevated uh, flower beds by the new gazebo that we just built and stuff like that, and that's gonna be expensive. So it, it, there's expensive hobbies out there. I'm trying to think what my wife's expensive hobby is. Nothing. She doesn't collect things. She does. Kathy. Here she come. My wife doesn't have any hobbies. I'm texting her right now. What is your hobby? Oh, I told her to take back these drinks. So the drinks are called Cove or something like that. And they look 
the box looks great and it's like zero sugar and it has like some probiotics in it or something i'm like this look good i'll try it and everly and i both had something like Ooh, disgusting but uh i'm asking kathy what her hobby is anyway i don't even know like i know my like my wife knows what my hobbies are i guess her hobby is like she likes to color digitally color so whenever we watch something she like does the little pixel art I I gotta get my wife a hobby. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being amazing. You're incredible, you're valuable. Don't forget it, and I will see you when I see you.